hello welcome to the 67th weekly vlog and uh, my photo books arrived ah! that's the final bit of my a level photography project for my coursework and i'm so excited to open it oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> i'm so nervous oh my god okay hang on i need to try and open this it's a very hard box to open this is like the hardest box I've ever had to open in my life. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. There it is. Here it is, everybody. My photo book. This is such an attractive angle. Oh my goodness. How do you open this? They have packaged this really well. Here it is, let me open it, let me see if it looks okay. Oh my God, it looks okay. Oh my God, it looks okay. <laughs> my real like worry was the essay was gonna look awful because we had to put our essay in this book. Oh my God. <laughs> my coursework is finished. I just need to hand this in now and then it is completely finished. Thank God. Oh my God, okay. Yes, this is still my pyjama top. I have got changed into like leggings, but I only did that because I knew that they were coming. And I was like, this top doesn't scream pyjamas, even though I realized as I was opening the door, it says I only wake for tea. So, <laughs> whoops. But, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm gonna go for a shower, but I've been waiting for this order because I knew it was coming today. So I'm gonna show you my book because it's so exciting. Oh my God, okay. So this is the front cover, so it's a little window book, like this, You've got the first photo, black page, this I did myself, all of these photos in here, unless they're in the essay and specified are my own. <laughs> this is so exciting, oh my god I'm so, I'm so happy, all my hard work is now in photo book form. I can hand this in tomorrow when I go in for my media mock. I can hand this in and be done with it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so happy. I'm so happy right now. Look. Oh my gosh. This cost me about £40, then plus postage. So it ended up costing me about £45, which is really expensive. I used photo box. I could have gone somewhere else and got it for so much cheaper, but I used photo box last year. Photo box are really good and really reliable and their quality is just amazing. I mean, you can't really tell because um, you guys aren't here right now with me, but yeah, their quality is really good. They're really trustworthy. And yeah, that is my photo book. Oh my God. Ta-da. That's, oh. I am so ready to hand this in tomorrow. Oh my goodness. That is such, honestly, such a relief. Such a relief. I'm now going to go for a shower because I feel really dirty, but I didn't know what time photo box were coming to deliver this. Right, so now go for a shower, sort out this uh, mess of the hair and myself. Uh, uh. sort that out better get on with some revision because like i said this week is mock week so currently i'm on study leave for this week only and i've got two mocks one on tu one tomorrow tuesday uh, in the afternoon and one on thursday in the afternoon tomorrow my mock is media then thursday is my film mock i don't have a mock for photography which is blissful I need to do some revision because I kind of not really done very much this weekend. I did a little bit yesterday and a little bit on Saturday, but currently I'm also like moving everything from my room into the room behind me. I don't know if you can see but my ottoman and a load of crap was on the top there because next week I am getting a brand new carpet. So excuse the mess on the floor over here. I'm like sorting out everything and moving things slowly over. So it is a bit of a mess. But I've got this lovely and disgusting pink carpet and I hate it. It's quite old. It was here when we bought the house and we didn't really do any renovating to the house when we bought it. So we kind of just moved all the stuff in and went with this and left it. 
but the only problem it's just not a nice carpet it doesn't feel very nice and soft on the floor it's just it shows the dirt really well it's just not a nice color carpet it wouldn't have been a color i'd have chosen ever it's just not nice a couple of weeks ago a couple of weekly vlogs ago i went to a carpet shop and had a look at all the different carpets and i chose a gray one so that is coming wednesday of next week but technically for, well, it's for me wednesday of next week but as you watch this weekly vlog i would have had a new carpet so how very exciting is that i also need to start thinking about packing for hollywood because i go in less than a month i leave the uk on the 2nd of march to go to la i have no idea what i'm gonna take i'm trying to work out currently what i want to buy when i go because i need to plan that and obviously like i'm gonna have some money for like if i see something there um, and I can buy that but I'm trying to like I'm thinking about how I should budget for each day because I don't know when I'm going to go back to LA I mean mum and I were talking about it and maybe like in two years time we might go back um, because unfortunately when I go to Disneyland it's not going to be as we all know and love because they're doing a lot of renovation work there at the moment ready for the summer which sucks because I'm going in March and yeah sucks because i won't have the prettiest of views at disneyland like paradise pier that's closed and pixar pier isn't opening until the summer so i'm missing that completely the partner statue at the moment is currently covered <laughs> because they're doing renovation works on the um on main street they're removing all the tram tracks and replacing them so Sadly, there is no parade when I'm there, which made me really sad because I love the parade. That's one of my favourite things to go and do at um, Disney. Um, well, Disneyland Paris anyway, because uh, that's the only park I've ever been to. So yeah, I am looking at going again in a few years or possibly going to Walt Disney World in a few years. But it's... the thing is, is because I want to start booking it soon because flights will be cheaper and everything will be cheaper if I book it soon. The problem is, is that... I don't know if anyone wants to go with me and if my mum is going to go with me which she does want to she wants to go see it all she doesn't want to go to Walt Disney World for two weeks she doesn't she likes Disney but she likes Disney because of me not because of her her own passions for it she doesn't get the she doesn't have the same passions as me but she's passionate about it because I'm passionate about it if you know what I mean so she wants to go to Disney with me but she can't imagine herself going to Walt Disney World for two weeks and that is kind of what I would want to do so she's like we could do a week in LA we could do like Disneyland for like four days or four or five days and then either side we can go and we can go do some exploring we can do the Hollywood Walk of Fame I think it's gonna be a really good week and I'm so excited and I can't wait it's gonna be such a good week it's gonna be weird like not going with my mum though because I don't know it's just gonna be weird I have been on holidays without my mum, obviously. I mean, you can look back at my Disneyland Paris vlogs in July and I went with my best friend, Amit, and that was an amazing, like, three days. But oh, also, I've had, like, the massive, like, Disney blues today. I haven't been to Disney since October, but I've, like, I've been on and off having Disney blues since October because I'm so desperate to go back. It's snowing today there. There is snow on the ground and I'm thinking how incredibly magical that would be. And I really want to go to Disney when it's snowing, so <laughs> please, when I next go to Disney, can it be snowing? Obviously not in LA. I don't want snow in LA because I'm not planning on taking, like, hats and gloves and scarves and everything. But I want to go back to Disney. <laughs> I want to go there right now. I don't want to do marks. I want to go to Disney. It's cold that um, the windows is frosted. Look. How atrocious is this? <laughs> How atrocious right now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I could be here a while. <gasps> that was cold. Oh my god. No, it's not even that cold out. So the mock went okay, I think. Yeah, I was quite happy with it. Handed in my photo book as well, which is good. And I did the mock and it went fine. I wrote 13 pages. <laughs> oh, 
oh, seven for the first question and six for the second i had two hours so i wrote a lot yeah and now i'm in my guide uniform as you can see and i'm off to go ice skating so just a warning not sure how much i'm going to be able to vlog for tonight but i am going to try and vlog a little bit i've got my gopro ready to go so hopefully i'll be able to do some of that get some shots on that but apart from that yeah let's let's go ice skating Happy Wednesday. I have just finished editing the weekly vlog and it is 20 to 2 and I'm, I'm in my pyjamas, okay? Let's not judge right now. <laughs> I don't have to be in college today as, um, like I've said multiple times, it's mock week and we ha technically were on study leave and I should be studying but I don't want to study right now. <laughs> I want to edit and I want to I want to film a video but I have no idea what to film absolutely no idea so if you have any ideas and the, leave them in the comments I do have some ideas but I like I look to go to film them and I'm like yeah that's great and I'm like oh uh, is it though <laughs> is it really that great but yeah I've just finished editing um it took me it took me a fair while but then I have been like having breaks in between like watching Netflix and stuff <laughs> I get so distracted when I edit the weekly vlogs because I don't get me wrong I love doing them but sometimes I'm like I need a break <laughs> and so I start watching Netflix or something like really productive like that yeah but last night I went ice skating that was really fun my mum did film a few bits for me on here I did ask her to and everything and this is really dirty need to get my cleaner out to clean this little lens situation because it's really dirty i went ice skating at the bic in bournemouth and they are quite strict about what you can take on the ice can't take a phone i don't know about cameras because not many people do take cameras on the ice anymore but i guess that would have been a bad thing and the gopro would have been fine but i didn't i didn't take the gopro on Carla, so i gave my bag to my mum and i was like oh my god mum can you film a few bits of my vlog and so yeah what you saw last night was filmed by my mum <laughs> hope you enjoyed that and then I obviously went to Wagamama's afterwards, which was really yummy. Um, and got a takeaway and it was delicious. Haven't had Wagamama's take I haven't had Wagamama's in forever. And I love Waggers. But I don't really have anything planned for today apart from to get on with some work, but I'm not really in the mood to do that. <laughs> oh, I just kind of wanna wanna chill, really, and just relax. I've done an exam now. I mean <laughs> It's only a mock, innit? I won't be saying that tomorrow. I'll be saying I'm worried and everything again, but, you know. I know I'm in the same position as yesterday, wearing grey, so it looks like it's the same day, but it is actually Thursday, the 8th of February. <laughs> but I'm just relaxing in bed, even though I should be revising for my mock. But I don't want to do any revision, and I've done not very much yesterday, and... I'm now getting a bit worried but at the same time I'm obviously not that worried because I'm just sat here on my phone just scrolling through more blooming social media aren't I? Uh. <laughs> yeah and I've had a shower as you can see from the uh, towel turban on my head. I need to get ready in a minute because it is like 20 to 11 and my exam starts at half past one therefore meaning I've got to be there at quarter past one like at the latest to go and be ready for it but at the same time i just i just, I just can't i can't be bothered <laughs> but i am I, I obviously am going to go in for the mock because i don't want to miss it because otherwise i still got to do it but i've just got to go do it tomorrow so i mean i don't know what you know 
not really much point. Sorry, <laughs> much point. Yeah, I've got a few few things to be doing that I should be doing. I should be revising right now, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, I did do something slightly productive yesterday. I sorted out my folder folders for um media and film because I've been keeping all my notes in my little um like paper pack thing and um that's not really all that great when I've got to you know it's quite it was quite messy all media and film were mixed in together so I decided to separate the two into folders so I've done that there is some stuff still in that pad but that's like stuff that I'm actually currently doing because I don't like taking stuff out that I'm doing because I don't like taking my folders in because they're quite big and bulky and it's just annoying to carry loads of folders all the time I'm hungry I haven't had breakfast but it's like nearly 11 o'clock I need to eat at like 12 so there's no point getting breakfast so <laughs> I'm having that like dilemma right now of like I'm hungry but if I have breakfast I won't want lunch and then I'll be hungry during the exam and I can't, that can't happen. And I need to take my nail polish off because look how atrocious that is. But I can't be bothered. I'm just in a I can't be bothered mood currently, which is not brilliant. I need to get out of that. I need to do, I need to do revision, but I don't want to. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to vlog because I don't know how much battery I have left on this camera. And I don't think it's very much. Um, but yeah, I've literally just come out of my film mark and I wrote 12 and a half pages worth of writing in two hours and my hand hurts like crazy and I know that when I do the real thing I'm going to need like about seven extension booklets because I needed one for this one. We only did two questions because we haven't quite finished the third, we haven't, well we haven't finished the obviously the exam so we only, <laughs> it's crazy. So we have like We've done two out of three questions for the exam, and we've done all the coursework and everything, which is great. How are we? It's a Saturday. All good. I'm in my pajamas. It's 10 o'clock. Great. I have something very exciting to show you. I have my first bit of blogger mail. Ah! Oh my goodness. I know exactly what it is. I am currently doing partnering with a company called Wish Trend. They basically do this Wish Trend do like Korean makeup, skincare, all of that kind of stuff. And I am working with them and uh, I am now an affiliate partner. So um, there is a link down below which you can order stuff from if you're interested and you can buy stuff. 
and it earns me a little bit of money which is awesome yeah so if you'd like to buy anything from wish trend um i make a little bit of money from the commission it doesn't cost you any extra but it just helps helps me out i guess um so yeah let's let's open this uh let's open this parcel there we go right let's do this so excited this came really quickly as well oh okay so it came in a dhl bag um that's who you order it through well that's who they do it through this by the way i tracked it has been from korea to germany to somewhere in somewhere up north i can't remember where then it went to heathrow and now it's come to me so then it's got this uh little gray bag Oh, wow they wrapped it all up in bubble wrap as well so i doubt i'm gonna be able to open this they wrap this so tightly oh oh we make, might have made a breakthrough hey, hey they have sent me the claire's rich moist soothing serum i have never used a soothing serum before oh it's got the instructions in english as well as korean so that's really great apply to clean skin day and night may be applied as target treatment for areas requiring extra attention and it tells you exactly what's in it so you know this is 2.7 fluid ounces or 80 millilitres so that's perfect for traveling i am going to do like a video on this at some point in the near future when i have a moment i don't know if you can hear the rain right now it's quite uh quite strong quite loud maybe not strong can't open this okay go okay, this is what it looks like like it was on the website again it's got the instructions in both korean and english so yeah they go and it's like all sealed in a plastic don't know if you can it's all sealed in like plastic so yeah you don't have to worry about other people using it i guess i am not all that one on skincare because i don't do all that much to my face i take my makeup off i moisturize which is kind of what i do every day and then every now and again i'll use like a proper cleanser uh, which i probably should think about doing at some point uh, i use a proper cleanser I really really occasionally i use a mask but i haven't really used a mask in probably over a year i am just blessed with fairly decent skin and so when um the PR lady asked me what I wanted from the website because I got to choose. I was like, I have no idea. But if anything, I do get fairly dry skin every now and again. Um, if I haven't moisturised well enough or if I haven't moisturised enough and stuff. So she said, um, she said that she'd send me, send me this. So I'm going to give this a go over the next few weeks. There will be a review on my blog at some point of this. But yeah, this is really exciting. Thank you so much to <clears throat> Wish Trend and Claire's for sending me this. I'm very excited to try it and I'm losing my voice. Oh my God. But also today, we are saying goodbye to this room in a way as um, all my furniture is being removed from this room. I've said before in like previous vlogs for the last couple of weeks that I am moving, well not moving rooms, but I'm having a new carpet put in this room as it's this lovely horrible pink colour. <laughs> so next week, but today as you watch this, if you're watching this on the Wednesday, the Valentine's Day, it goes up. Um, I've had a new carpet. Um, I'm getting a grey one. It's this horrible pink colour. I'll show you it in a minute, but it's just not cute and I'm getting rid of it finally and I'm having a new carpet but to do that I need to move all of my furniture and I've made a start on a f moving a few bits so I've moved 
obviously the top of this and some of the rest I've still got a long way to go as you can see um, and I've still got like the rest of my room to sort out so I've got a lot of things to do I, we're also getting rid of this bed today so it's saying goodbye to this bed however it's not really for you guys because you never see the bottom of this bed you only ever see you know the the what's this the head board thing however i'm keeping that and using it again keeping the same mattress which you see every now and again so really it's not really saying goodbye for you guys but for me it's saying goodbye to my bed but i'm getting a brand new one instead so that's that's great <laughs> i should stop here chatting and get changed and start moving stuff because i need to move a lot of stuff today <laughs> We're just about to break for lunch. Oh my god, it's a bit echoey. Oh no. And this is how much we've done. So we've got rid of this unit here. Um, bean bag. Still my bed and some stuff on the bed. A box. Bookcase. But if you turn around here, obviously we've got all of this to sort out. And this, one of my chest of drawers has gone in the other room. So yeah, we're slowly getting there in here. Um, we're nearly finished. And then we're going to get rid of this carpet today as well hopefully but if you come out here you've got a uh, the desk you've got a chest of drawers there but, and then you come in here this is all covered in stuff and look at this this is um all my stuff i know this is the unit but we are gonna like flat pack that and we're gonna keep it for a while but yeah we're just gonna flat pack it but we're not doing that until after everything is sorted so yeah and there's the bed i need to clear that off because i'm going to be sleeping there for the next couple of weeks this is uh this is my all my room so my bed has now left the building but the funny bit is the bed doesn't fit in the car so we're smashing it to smithereens it's so fun And in my car are the drawers that were in my bed and the pillow because that's a crappy pillow that needs to go to the dump. So yeah, now I'm going to go to the dump and uh, yeah, get rid of all this junk before it shuts in like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would help if I uh, did that.
make it echoey. Because, <laughs> because, There we go, there's my mattress. Got a few bits on the wall still, but that's fine. That can stay there. Yeah. Done. Did it in a day. I thought it was going to take all weekend, but I have tomorrow to sort out that room. Because <laughs> uh, that's where I'm living for the next uh, week and a bit. Yay. So yeah, this is the current situation in this room. <laughs> Oh my god, I have so much stuff over the next like month, two months. I am going to be sorting out this entire room, getting rid of stuff and everything. <laughs> I mean, just look how much like makeup stuff. I mean, obviously, not all of it's makeup, but the large majority of this on the top here is makeup stuff. And I do not wear all of this. I need to sort this out. And um, yeah. And then I've also got like a drawer or two in there that's full of makeup. And yeah, I just need to sort it out. And look at my brushes. I need to clean them badly. I need to clean these really badly. Look at them. Oh dear. It's really weird being in the spare room. Like really weird. I have slept in here before like once. Um, because there was a wasp in my room. And I did, well there was a wasp like crawling on my bed. And so I didn't want to deal with that, <laughs> which is cool. But yeah, I'm sleeping here for like a week or two, which is going to be a bit weird. Yeah, it's going to be really weird, but it's going to be good. It's really, really tight. It's only like 10 past nine, but I'm like yawning. Yeah, we, did, we did so much more than I expected today. Like my room is completely clear of everything. It's so echoey in there. The carpet's gone, the bed's gone. We took the bed to the dump today, but the um we didn't get there in time. Well we we not we're not doing the carpet until tomorrow. Hello, happy Sunday. Um my stepbrother Michael is currently here, he's currently downstairs. Um they were watching the rugby. Not sure what they're doing now, but anyway. I'm up in uh my makeshift room. <laughs> I have been writing some blog posts and scheduling them. I have, I realise I have a lot of blog posts that I want to get up and I have a lot of ideas and I've been really in the mood to write. And I also filmed a video this morning, edited and uploaded it for tonight. Well, for like in 35 minutes time it's going to go up, which is awesome. I'm going to start editing this weekly vlog. I've, yeah, been writing blog posts pretty much nearly finished this one this one i'm currently writing is my disneyland bucket list um but that's not going to go up till next month i'm just getting really really organized i yeah i'm, I'm just going through and scheduling like loads of posts because i've got lots of posts i want to write and i've got most of them up actually or most of them like scheduled now until until like i go to la which is really good um, but I'm just adding some photos into this last post and then we are done. I need to add in like one more photo there I reckon. And then I will be done. It's been, it's been really quite like productive like blog and, um, blog and YouTube wise. I've been really productive with it all but I'm just continuing that productiveness. Um, I've got more posts to write as well which is great so I am like killing it with blog ideas that sounds really like i don't know what the word is but yeah i've got so many blog ideas youtube ideas i'm not doing too good on at the moment which is not great but i have a massive list of like blog posts i want to write and when i want to get them up by so yeah i've got loads some of them i can't write yet because i haven't uh, done some of the things tried some of the things out blah blah blah, blah. i am nearly sorry i just want to finish this one and I want to get it, schedule it so that it's ready to go. Right, that's done. So I just need to do the. T if you, oh, I might as well quickly show you. It'll be. It won't. This post won't be up till the beginning of March. So you're gonna wait a while to see it. But basically, this is what like my like blog writer looks like, and it's a little cute photo of me and Mickey, and everything. Da 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 da. Leave it on a photo like that one. So over on this side. I've got like things to sort out so I've got like when it's going to be up and stuff. 
I've got categories that I have to fill in to give it like a home and stuff if you know what I mean. So we're going to put Disney, it's a category. I don't know how well you can see this. Holidays and travel. That's done. We've got tags. So I'll like write what I think relates to this post. If you're interested I use WordPress. Um, love WordPress. Really good. But yeah, I'm just writing posts. I'm whispering again because it's eight minutes past 11. 